done a bit of hunting. Um, and yeah. Hi, I'm Archie, I'm 13 and I'm quite keen on pig hunting and goat culling and yeah, I'm quite keen to get my first deer. Cool, I'm Hamish from Fielding and we're here with Clayton. Oh, uh, Hine Rata. Oh, Hine Rata. Yep. That's what it is. So uh, we're after three deer. Uh, we've got one night to do it. We've got a bit of a westerly wind, which is not ideal for us up here, but we'll make the most of it. So, um, yeah, one deer each. We'll see what happens. So I've come up with a bit of a plan. We're going to send uh, Hamish and Charlie down the bottom here to where most of the sign was, and then me and Archie are going to head up over to another spot. And hopefully we can get at least one deer between us would be great but we'll just have to see what happens really let's get into it right. me and archie they've just got to our spot hamish and charlie they've got over to their spot got the uh, hoggets scattered all over the place so they're a little bit like landmines when you're hunting when you're doing this paddock hunting because you spook one and then the rest run and the deer pick up on their bars and it makes it pretty hard sometimes so um, we're just let these sheep settle down a little bit we're just going to come on slowly behind them and then um, get up to our shooting stand and we're going to sit there tonight and hopefully we can come up with the, with the deer for young Archie but uh, we'll see what happens the grass is pretty short at the moment so um They'll probably be coming out right on the change of light, I would imagine. The hinds will be quite heavy in calf at the moment as well, so they'll be sticking to the bush this time of the year. Probably another three or four weeks before they start sort of poking out onto the grass again, trying to put condition on after they drop their, their fawns. So um, we'll see what happens tonight. Hopefully we can find a deer between the four of us. Hopefully we can get one on the deck tonight and maybe another one in the morning. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm 
Oh, that one. Oh, I think you got him. Missed on the first shot, but uh, you toes them on the second shot. He wasn't standing perfectly, sort of. He was standing front on. Archie sort of shot. Wasn't really supposed to, but he got it, and it just tumbled straight down. Down yeah, onto the track. Hopefully, hopefully it's not wounded, but um, I think he's got it pretty hard, actually. Awesome. One deer on the deck, mate. First deer. Congratulations, Archie. Rifle safe. Safe. Yep, it's safe, clear. Congratulations, mate. First deer. Easy as that, brother. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, mate. Fantastic. Worked out a treat, and you spotted it yourself, too. Yeah. Good shit. Good. Oh, we'll go back to the bike, and um, we can pretty much ride the bike right to that one. Some beauty about this, this paddock hunting. It's um, pretty, pretty easy sometimes. There you go, mate. What'd you think of that? Pretty cool. First deer. Yeah. It was pretty straightforward, eh? Yeah, got him with the um, second shot. Right in the engine room. Pretty good. Straight in the engine room. Yep. Bloody fantastic, and it's a nice yearling hind, so beautiful one to eat. Not the biggest, but um, fantastic size to eat, and it's in pretty good nick too, so it'll be good eating, mate. That's yeah. awesome. First deer, congratulations. 13. Mean, mate. Well, that was the easy bit, and we're quite privileged here because it's private property and it's um, easy hunting here, so um, we can park, the, we've got the pike parked right there. So um, we can, we don't even have to carry this one, mate. We just whip the guts out and throw it straight on the bike. So uh, pretty straightforward, this hunt. Fantastic. Hopefully uh, Hamish and um, Charlie have got one over the other side there, eh? Yeah, it'd be awesome if they have. Yeah. I'll um, whip the guts and stuff out of him and we'll meet up with the other guys and see how they got on, eh? Yep. Right, we've finished tea and everything. We're just having discussions about all sorts of things. Lesbians and bloody <laughs> shit we used to get up to when we were younger. And yeah, it's been quite crazy. I should have actually had the film camera on then and <laughs> Not got that. that. Yeah. Might have got Hamish in trouble. <laughs> Hot lesbians? <laughs> Where's it go? No such thing as a lot of lesbians. <laughs> uh, um, so, who wants to give us an update? I'm always doing it, people probably just get sick of my voice, so Do you want to tell us how it went down there, Hesh? Uh, what's your name? Archie Archie, Archie. I was close, got the starting, starting bit right Uh, well We are at the hut and I spotted a nice, um Young stag And we took that on the, I got on the second shot right in the neck We carried that out And we're back at the hut now Just Talking and yeah, had having some food. Having some mm, food. Yeah. Yep. Um, so we've had, what do we have? We had chicken and salad and potatoes for tea. Yeah. Yep. So we're all fully recharged. What's the time? It is quarter past ten, so we've got a half past five start in the morning. Yeah. Um, we've still got maybe two deer get, hopefully, hopefully two deer if we're, if we're all going well. Um, but definitely trying to get young Charlie one if we can, mm -hmm. all going well. Oh. So, um, yeah, we just had a feed, we're just going to probably have a beer and a little bit of a chin wag and hit the sack and we'll be up at bus five. So, um, yeah, we'll see how you go. So we'll see how we go. You guys probably will be going alright. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Blake. You have a good sleep, mate? <laughs> Blake um, loves his farm bakes. Morning, boys. Morning. Morning. Sleep alright? You know, I sort of rolled around quite a few times, probably 343 times to be precise, <laughs> but um, we're up at half past five, the boys are pretty keen, we've got a nor northerly wind this morning which is not really ideal, it's pretty much straight up our arse, so um, I've got a bit of a plan, so we'll just see if it comes together, so uh, we'll just see what happens, a bit of a coffee, or my coffee, and a couple of biscuits, and then we're out the door. Oh well, the um, the old one-two boom trick didn't work very well. Somebody jumped the gun. <laughs> I jumped the gun. And he fucking missed, I, <laughs> I, I think. Yeah, I um, but we managed to get young fella his first deer, which is bloody awesome. Ah. Young Charlie, and um, the deer just ran off down the hill. I'm not 100% sure whether um, Hamish actually did miss his one. I didn't hear a plonk. But um, <laughs> bugger. Oh, well, at least we got one out of that mob. Didn't get the camera on time, I was just trying to organise the boys and next minute bloody Blake started squeaking and then boom, 
<laughs> Woof. But uh, at least there's one on the deck down there. And we'll just race down the ridge here a bit. We might be able to cut these ones off and get another shot, especially with that long range rifle there. So we're going to have a look. Just... just wait for it to step out behind that tree. shot. That one's toast. You might have gone a little bit too far back. Yeah. Um, but yeah, didn't like it. It was a good, good solid hit. You could tell by the sound of it, basically. Ah, oh, good shot. That worked out better than planned. All the boys have got a deer. Fantastic. We're going to try and cut these ones off down here. But the old thermal huntsman optics. The, the Hick Micro is fantastic. Search this as fast as I can. We cut the animals before they head back into the scrub, and this thing just cuts out the time majorly. I just sneak down over here to try and cut these other deer off. And I just sort of had a quick glance over here, put that deer up straight away. Fantastic. The these things are worth their weight in gold. <laughs> I'm going to buy some. Um, Pick Micro. This is a 35mm. This is a really good one. It's a 25mm, and there's also a 50mm. There's a scope coming out soon as well. Um, it's worth their weight in gold, you'll pick up 50% more animals, and I'm saying that you're going to shoot 50% more animals, but you'll definitely see 50% more animals. Rabbit control, pest, pest control, just hands down, beats anything. Don't mock it till you try it, give it a go, it's awesome. So, <laughs> so as it turns out, you did get two out of that first hop. So, uh, on the mud. Good shit. So Charlie got his first deer. Is that your dad's first deer? Second deer. Second deer. Second deer. Second deer. First red deer. First red deer. Oh, yeah, big hind. She'll be um, hapu at the moment. Which is a good thing for up here because we want to control the deer numbers. Nice big hind. Yeah, just a bit low, but luckily it went into the engine room. Yeah. Yep. SST's 150 grain in the 308, just a little bit low in the shoulder, but still managed to do the job. Good stuff, Charlie. First deer, brother. Congratulations. Cheers, mate. Awesome, mate. Under a bit of pressure there too, you know. Yeah. Trying to do the one, two, three, and then next minute old Hamish squeezes off. And I wasn't really watching, so I didn't see the connect on that one, but it didn't sound like it, so we thought we actually missed it. over the ridge and you see on the video there's that one there and Hamish smoked that and said to him he can have this one for free if he's got it so um, he's got a free one which is good. a bit of a bonus for the boys oh well now the work begins we'll get a bit of footage of these young fellas getting the steer back up to the top it's only 100 metres back up to the bike but um, we should be fun watching them anyway <laughs> right so uh 
he's Charlie's deer, nice big hind and the other ones down there like I said before we did get two out of that first mob um, didn't get any of it on film Hamish jumped the gun a bit <laughs> I think he frightened himself a bit too but uh, it actually worked out really well I didn't think he hit it because I wasn't watching and I didn't hear a big smack but he did, he smacked it perfect so there's three there on the, the deck this morning which is great two young fellas first deer what do you boys reckon? First, uh, first experience out hunting deer, or was it? Yep. yep. Uh, so you got plenty of venison there and stuff, and um, we'll whip the heart out of that young one that Hamish shot, and um, we'll cook that up for you as when we get back for breakfast and see what you reckon. You get nervous, Charlie. No. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of heart and liver. Yeah. Um, the liver's actually really nice too, full of vitamin C and all the good stuff, iron and all that sort of thing. Old Blakey, as you probably heard on the video, he hasn't really changed much he still gets bloody super excited he's seen well over a couple of hundred deer being shot now and he just gets excited as me basically probably picks the excitement up off me but we'll sort this animal out and um, get both of them up to the bike and go around and retrieve this other one eh? Got all day, eh? Got all, uh, yeah, all day, but not all week. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're strong enough, you're better off just chuck them on your back. But um, <laughs> right, we'll see you boys at the top. We'll go and recover this other one. Boys made it to the top, they done bloody well actually. That, that deer was probably 65 kilos, 60 kilos. So um, they dragged it up there, which is bloody good. We've just sorted this one out. Hey Blakey. So we've just sorted this one out here. Close your eyes if you're a bit squeamish. So um Hamish hasn't volunteered to chuck this on his back, so basically no, I'll chuck him on that but I'm saying it's not around the corner. So we'll whip this one up to the top and then we'll go and retrieve the other one. Yeah. Sounds good. This is how a pro does it. Been feeding the front legs back through the back legs. I'm gonna watch him fall on his ass into the creek. <laughs> Kicking the nuts. Threading these legs through. Not, there's no twist in it. Go through this end first. It's always normally easier. Yeah. Now that I've got the camera on, it probably won't be. Yeah, well done. Pops through like that. There. So that just holds on that tendon? Yep, that'll hold on that tendon. Sort of a hill like that. This prick guy. Look at that. Not bad for an old bastard. Hey. And up the hill we go. Bit of yellow taint in that bone. Bit of yellowy tinge. Look at that real young, healthy animal, so there'll be a nice white bone. It's it's pretty much white, but you can see it's just starting to get a bit of a yellow taint. So she's got a full set of teeth, so she's at least four years old. I reckon she's probably up around that six six years old. Out of guess. Yeah. Bones, you should be able to get it every single time. Just cut through that tendon, that's what you need to do. So as long as you've got that cut there, you can 
right place. Should break easy. Get that turned. Put it on the job training. Blake's eating too many biscuits this morning. Oh, this is the third day down. This is the the second day we went to the on the first one this morning, but um, we thought we'd better get one just in case to secure the deal. And um, yeah, we shot the first one perfectly. <laughs> and we've got this one as well. This is a nice young yelling, yelling stag. So, um, good stuff. It's fine, venison. We're all molting at the moment. You can see all this here. So, no good for tanning skin. You still tan them, but you're just going to have hair constantly coming out. So. When you use it sneaking around doing your bush stalking at the moment, you'll notice that bloody there'll be deer here all around through the bush just from the deer molting. But they're just starting to come back out onto the edge now. Um, the grass is just starting to come away from pretty much from now on, so we need to get pretty good into spring hunting. Cool. Thanks. Yep, and use the whole blade. Yeah. Yep, what is that in line with its yellow to yellow? Towards you a little bit. Yep, so you're not quite, just watch your fingers as well. Yep, it's hard and you use the whole blade. See all the other, the, um, this is what I call the brisket. Yeah. That's all hard here and then it goes soft here. Yeah. So basically grab a handful of hair like that, pull it away from the stomach a little bit and just do a couple of slices and you'll see the different layers of skin before it goes into the guts. You don't want to go into the guts. Lightly. Yep, it's not there. See, see that there? Just about, but you can poke your finger through that bit. And then now, see, and there's the guts there. So you don't want to cut that. Yeah, so basically you get through that first layer and then you should be able to just poke your finger through the last layer and that'll help you avoid cutting that gut bag open. And then now, you stick two fingers in there like that. No, you don't spread them. So you basically what you're doing is putting in between your fingers like that, so it's a bite. So the reason you do that is so you don't put the knife in too far and it goes into the gut bag and then you get the guts everywhere. So you just sort of have your fingers there as a guide and that'll help you run the knife down the belly. So basically you put the knife in here. You're pushing down and up with this hand and just pushing forward with this hand. Okay, so you're pushing down and up and you should be able to just zip it open basically. Good boy. You go. Eat it. Oh, fuck. Are you hungry? <laughs> you do. Oh, I need some privacy. Now lie down onto it. Just like a backpack. Yep. Beautiful. And just give him a hand, Charlie, to get him get his arm in there. No, no. And then roll over. Use that um, brush bush next to you. Yeah. So roll onto your knees there. And use that rush bush to sort of help pull yourself over. Push down on those legs at the same time. So roll over to your left. Yep. yep. Onto your knees and then straight up. Awesome, mate. Fantastic. That's just about as big as you. That's fantastic. So just go real slow and make sure you're footing, okay? So it's not a, not a race. It's just um, about being safe. So just follow a deer track. I'll go ahead. I'll, um, I'll pick a good path for you. But if you want, just walk past the, that guts and that there and we'll get a bit of footage of you going down this little creek and then we've just got to go up that little hill there and the bike's just up on top of the hill. Yeah, that's probably the best bet. Here's a machine. Good stuff, boys. Teamwork. Go straight up there, basically. Yeah, 50 50 for the sausages, 50 venison, and 50 mutton is, um, seems to be the magic mix. Alright, 
just um, cooked up a bit of a feed and uh, then we're just going to pack up and head out but um, we might as well just put a recap on this on this video and put an ending to it um, what did you reckon of the of the hunt there Charlie got your mouth full sorry yeah, great um, yeah second time deer hunting first time getting a deer and yeah just Clayton's knowledge is great um, like puts you onto the good spots and knows what he's talking about definitely recommend awesome mate thanks for that what about you, Archie? What did you reckon, mate? Battery's flashing as well, so it's probably going to cut out any second part um, of another battery there. It was pretty cool. It's a good experience to get like a taste of all the other hunting, see what I'm keen on. And um, I'm definitely keen to come out here again sometime. Yep, so this this is public, uh, not public land hunting. Your public land hunting is, is a little bit harder. You've got to work a, little, work a little bit harder, walk a little bit further, and carry the animals a little bit longer. But um, this gives you a bit of a taste of it anyway, and teaches you the basics. And this style of hunting is fantastic. It teaches you and makes you a better hunter for hunting that public land as well, because you get to see the animals in their natural environment. The public land's only just there. Most of these deer come from the public land anyway. Yeah. Um, but you can sit back and you can afford to watch them and just see what their body language is like and get and read what the wind does and all that sort of stuff. So it's a really good place to learn how to hunt properly as well before you want to venture off into the public land. Yep. It'll definitely, definitely help you. Cool. What about you, mate? Yeah, no, rat, really good. Just um, process start to finish, and we're not eating the deer that we, um, <laughs> and the sausages, but, um, yeah, so no, that's Samba, Samba yeah, and, yeah. Samba and sheep. But, um, no, it was awesome, but it's great to get out here and see what you do. We've obviously seen you put on YouTube and stuff, and it's been good to, Good to get out here and experience your face to face. You're, huh. not, you're not as evil as what everybody says. <laughs> no, it was um, bloody good to meet you, Hamish, and you two boys. And uh, it was a pleasure taking you fellas out. It was fantastic. So I think we'll make this um, a bit of a wrap on this video again. So thanks again for watching, guys. And if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. Cheers. Cheers.